Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy, and today's tutorial we're going to be looking at interrupt request handlers on the Atmel SAM D21 Explained Pro Board. So for this example, it's a really quick example, we're going to be looking at triggering an interrupt when the SW0 button is pressed. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle the LED when the button is pressed. So if you go ahead to start.atmel.com and click create new project. Now if we go to show only boards and find our D21 Explain Pro board and click create new project. Okay, let's go ahead and rename this project. button IRQ. Okay, now click add software component and we're going to go to drivers and we're going to go to external IRQ. So this is the interrupt request handler. Click add components. Now let's click on that and rename that to Okay. Now, if we go to our pin marks, we need to find the pin that's attached to the SW0 software switch. So if we stretch this out so we can see what we're looking at. And as you can see, PA15 is SW0. So if we go back to our dashboard, click on button, scroll down and we need to find the pin signal to route to the interrupt. So it's PA15 so if we look at ext and slash 15 select PA15 as our interrupt and if we go to interrupt 15 settings click enable we're going to set that to rising edge detection. So the input for PA15 is normally at high and when you push the button it pulls it down to ground. So what we're actually going to do is trigger the interrupt when it rises back up to the high level. So once the button's been released the input will rise up to the voltage that the pin is tied to and that's called rising edge detection. Now, if we go to pin max, and now we want to find our LED pin. That's PB30, yellow LED zero. And we're gonna call this status LED. Set the pin mode to digital output. And we're gonna set the initial level to high, which actually means that it's off and when you pull the pin down to low, that's when the LED gets turned on. So, if we go to export project, call this 06 button IRQ, and click download pack. Okay open that project okay save it somewhere where we'll remember Now if we go to our 
examples and click driver examples you can see we've got an example function here on registering that IRQ so if we go back to main then we're going to create a function called button pressed static void button pressed and we're just going to toggle the LED pin Save that. Now, if we go back to our driver example, and you can see we've got a function here called ext irq register. So, underneath our start code, we're going to register the interrupt. And we're going to register that on PA15. button pressed function. Okay, go ahead and save that. Now, let's select our debugging tool to the EDBG. We're going to quickly build this, make sure there's no errors. Okay, that's compiled all right. So now we're gonna go ahead and run it. Okay, so as you can see, the LED is currently turned off. I'm just gonna quickly press the SW0 button. And you can see the LED is turned on. So if we push it again, you can see the LED is turned off again. Do that again one more time. And the LED is turned on. And let's turn it off again. Okay, so there we have it, a really quick and dirty tutorial on using the interrupt request handlers for things like buttons. Thanks for watching guys, if you've got any questions please pop them in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy here. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video please click like, please subscribe to my channel and please feel free to add any comments if you've got any suggestions for tutorials or videos that I can do. Thanks very much guys.